Hi, everyone, and welcome to the first ever Endangered Species Day Parade. I'm very excited to see all the wonderful creations you have made to celebrate your favorite imperiled, threatened, and endangered species today. But before we get started, I want to do a brief land acknowledgement. So as I'm sure you've learned in school or will soon if you haven't, when people say that Christopher Columbus sailed the ocean blue to discover America, that's not the whole story. The United States and the Americas were already inhabited by millions of indigenous people like my ancestors. Those indigenous people were pushed out of their homes and so today we begin our events with a land acknowledgement to acknowledge and bring attention to the original inhabitants of the land we're on. By doing so, we raise awareness about the histories, show respect for indigenous people, and recognize the relationship to the land. So today, I'm broadcasting from Ute and Cheyenne ancestral land. After the parade, I would ask if, if uh, people could check to see whose land they occupy. You can do so with these uh, two resources here. Can everyone see me? <laughs> Thumbs up, anyone? Oh, good, okay. <laughs> so with that, I'd like to welcome everyone to the official Endangered Species Day of Colorado Endangered Species Week. So this is the 15th anniversary of the first Endangered Species Day, and I'm really excited you could join us for this event. Uh, fun animal fact, we know that a group of wolves are a pack, a group of bighorn sheep is a herd. Does anyone know what a group of elephants is called? Any raised hands? I see a lot of shrugs. They're called a parade. So <laughs> fun fact. Um, here's how ours is going to work. So I want everyone to stay muted throughout the parade. Um, when I call your name, you can unmute yourself and share your piece that you brought with you today. If uh, your piece is on, on your computer, you can use the share screen at the bottom of your Zoom menu to show what you have on your computer. Uh, I'm, I'm pretty sure everyone has a paper copy from the registration, but if, if you do and you get in, into a little bit of trouble, I can walk you through that share screen. Um, let's see. Sorry, I'm looking at my notes. Uh, so you can show us your piece that you brought with you, uh, tell us what inspired you or why you chose the species that you did, and anything else you'd like to tell us. And then when you're done, uh, you can mute yourself again and then we'll move on to the next person. If you're shy or don't want to speak, that's absolutely fine. You don't have to. We want everyone to be comfortable and feel safe and have fun today. So you can share your screen or uh, show us your artwork and then give me a thumbs up when you're done and we'll move on to the next person. So if you do have something to share but didn't indicate that on the registration form, you can go down to the bottom of your Zoom menu. There's this little chat and you can uh, directly message me and let me know that you have something you wanna share. And also if you said you wanted to share something but you've changed your mind, you can go ahead and chat me and we'll, we'll pull you from the queue as well. So, Here's who we have, so just, just so everyone knows. So me, we have me. <laughs> we have Haley uh, from Endangered Species Coalition, who's our partner today. Uh, we have Sawyer, Daisy, Rhonda, What Matters, Allison, Stacy, Julie, Christy, Emily, Melinda, Ivy, and Floco. Ivy Bia Paul got that note <laughs> and float goat at the end. So um, if, if you heard your name and you changed your mind, go ahead and chat me. If you didn't hear your name and you wanna join, go ahead and chat me and we'll get you in that queue. Um, so I'll make sure that people aren't super surprised that they're next by doing, like calling an on deck person ahead of time. So right now, for instance, I'd say, Chris from Rocky Mountain Wild, that's me is up next uh, on deck is Haley from Endangered Species Coalition. So then Haley would know that she's going next. So with that, I'm gonna get started. Unless anyone has any questions, you can chat them to me. Otherwise, can I get thumbs up? Be good? Okay. <laughs> I can't see everyone. So uh, if, if you do have questions, go ahead and chat me and uh, we'll go ahead and get started. 
So my name is Chris and I work with Rocky Mountain Wild, the organization that hosted Colorado Endangered Species Week this week and today's parade. And I'm dressed up as an American pika. Um, I, I love pika, they're adorable. And I also have a pika illustration to share. So I'm gonna go ahead and share my screen real quick, except it looks like I didn't pull it up. Okay, technical difficulties on my end. <laughs> so the reason I chose pika is because I love their quirky nature. I like how they uh, have very strange habits. Um, their noises make me laugh and their little scurrying is fun to watch um, up in the talus. So that's why I chose pika today. And I hope that we can use our front range pika project citizen science data to help them thrive no matter what happens to our warming climate. So uh, next we'll hear from Haley from Endangered Species Coalition, who's gonna share a fun activity you can do to advocate for monarch butterflies. And on deck is Sawyer. So Haley, whenever you're ready. Great, thank you, Chris. I am so excited to be here. Uh, my name's Haley. Um, I'm with the Endangered Species Coalition. I have my Endangered Species Day shirt on. So a uh, happy Endangered Species Day to everybody. Uh, like Chris said, my a species that I'm excited about today is the monarch butterfly. And I wanted to tell you about a really cool project that you can also do at home. Um, but first I wanna tell you why, why monarchs? You know, there's actually two different monarch populations in the United States. One is the Eastern population and one is the Western population. Uh, the Western population is the one that I'm focusing on. And actually the bad news is that they've declined very significantly in the past 30 or so, 30 or 40 years. In the 1980s, there were 4.2 million individual monarchs in the Western population. Now there's only about 30,000. So that's an over 99% decrease in our monarchs. Um, and so to raise awareness, for their drastic decline, we have been folding monarch butterfly origamis. And they're super, super cute. And I just started one here, um, but since I didn't, haven't gotten very far yet, there's even a spot where people can put their names and zip codes and why they care about monarchs because we're gonna be sending these to Senators Bennett and Gardner um, to show just how much support there is for monarch conservation, because you know, monarchs actually are not listed on the Endangered Species Act, despite this crazy decline that they're seeing. They have been petitioned though. They were petitioned to be listed in 2014, but that was a really long time ago, and they still haven't gotten protections. So we wanna make sure that when that a uh, listing review comes up that they get protected. We also wanna make sure our Endangered Species Act is protected because there's certain people that unfortunately wanna weaken it for various reasons. So I would love to invite you to join me in folding monarch origami. And if you would like to get involved, you can visit endangered.org slash monarch origami. And I'll put that in the chat uh, just so you know that you got it right. Um, but you can sign up there and I will mail you the origami sheets and I'll even mail you an envelope to send them back to me so you don't have to do anything and it doesn't cost you any money. So I would love for you to join me and um, visit the website that I will put in the chat box uh, in just a moment if you would like. So thank you all so much. Thanks Haley. Um, so next, we're going to be sharing a beautiful coloring book page from Sawyer, and on deck is Daisy. So let me share my screen. So bats are Sawyer's favorite animal, and he really enjoyed the bat activities on our Hanging Out bat with Bats Day, and uh, colored in this bat for us for today. So thank you, Sawyer. <laughs> Next, Daisy's gonna share with us pictures of endangered birds and on deck is Rhonda. Okay, I'm not seeing Daisy or Rhonda with us yet. So I'm going to uh, push them back just a little bit. <laughs> and 
move on to the band What Matters. So next I'll be sharing a performance from Matt, Micah, Leo, and Jenny Sandler, also known as What Matters. In this little video, they perform the song Too Much to Give, an original song about different species, what they need to live, and why we should help them survive. And on deck is Allison. So one second while I share. There we go. Hi, I'm Matt Sandler, staff attorney for Rocky Mountain Wild. And I'm Micah, five and three quarters years old. Hi, I'm Leo, and I'm almost nine. And I'm Jenny, and together we are... What, what Matters! This is a song we wrote for Endangered Species Day called Too Much to Give. One, two, three, four. <laughs> So I hope you love that song from What Matters. I'm seeing lots of clapping. Yes, it's a very good song. Um, so next, Allison be sharing a map of Indian, and I swear I did not tell Matt to do that little plug at the end. <laughs> that was all him. So next, Allison will be sharing a map of endangered plants she made, and on deck is Stacy. Hi, first of all, I'd like to introduce the lynx that is on my shoulder. Um, that was given to me by my sister. Uh, thank you, Anne. And um, let me share this. I'm trying to show that um, art can take many forms. I make maps for a living. Most of them are not very artistic. But here I wanted to show some of the um, plants that are threatened and endangered. They often don't get a lot of love. Uh, Matt did mention uh, some of the fun names in his song, Matt and his family. So that is why I made this map. It shows where some of these plants are, including a bladder pod, um, a butterfly plant that's uh, close to um, the front range of Colorado where some of us live. And all of these are really important for the critters that eat them and the critters that pollinate them and we don't want to lose them. Thank you. Thanks, Allison. So I said Stacy was next and I apologize, but it looks like she's not on the call just yet. Uh, Julie, are you ready to share? Oh, sorry. For some reason, I was thinking that was a different Julie. Uh, I'm actually sharing Julie's piece. <laughs> um, and next on deck is Christy. 
So let me pull up. So this is uh, Julie Kitz's work. And if Julie's name sounds familiar, that's because she illustrated our beautiful Save the Bats tea for sale on the Colorado Endangered Species Week webpage. She chose to illustrate whooping cranes because, quote, not only are they endangered, but in Colorado, in, here in Colorado, but they're nationally endangered. There were 10,000 plus living in North America before European settlement, and they were hunted to the brink of extinction. In 1941, there were only 21 known in the wild. Sorry, I, I don't know what, are you guys just seeing the, the, the art, nothing in the way? Okay, just checking, sorry. Uh, sorry, in 1941, there were only 21 known in the wild and two in captivity. With the help of captive breeding programs, we brought the population up to 800, including ones in captivity. However, due to changing priorities in the face of budget cuts by the Trump administration, these captive breeding programs are in crisis and many are being forced to abandon their efforts. They are still hunted in America illegally and violators don't seem to be fittingly punished such as in 2011, sentence of a $1 fine and probation was given. Now a big factor in their demise is habitat loss, but still 20% of whooping crane deaths are due to illegal hunting. I encourage people to take an interest in how politics are affecting our wildlife and demand change from our leaders. Sorry, technical difficulties. <laughs> there we go. So thank you so much to Julie for uh, sending that artwork. Unfortunately, she couldn't join us today, um, but I am glad she let us know about whooping cranes. So next is Christy. Christy will sharing uh, her bat and on deck is Emily. Hey everybody. Uh, first of all, I just want to say thanks to everybody who's here and who contributed and who shared tutorials because I've been having fun. Um, I also, made a pika. Thank you, Emily, for the tutorial. It was really, really fun. <laughs> um, and then I've never painted with gouache. Is that even how you say it? So I started this bat about 20 minutes ago, but he's coming out all right. I think he's going to be good. She, they, this bat. Um, so thank you, Chris, for the bat tutorial. And then uh, while I'm here, in case you all haven't seen it, which I'm sure you have, because it seems like you're pretty well informed, but uh, I did a little tutorial too for some face makeup. So these are my two tutorials. One, both inspired by the uh, boreal toad, a, our only alpine amphibian in Colorado. Um, and these were really, really fun to do and I love this kind of work, but I'm really thankful to Chris for giving me the opportunity to come be here today and share with you guys and learn from everybody. Uh, and I, I think that's all I have to share. How do I stop Hit that button? <laughs> Thank you, Christy. So next we have Emma Lee and on deck is Melinda. Hi, I'm Emma Lee and I, can, can I share, do we share the video as well as the piece? Yeah, if you want to, that'd be great. So. Sorry, it's not letting me share. Usually it does when I do my, uh, but it's not letting me. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Okay, so this was my piece for today. I couldn't choose between the five featured species, so I wanted to do them all. And um, I'm actually, I did a tutorial for the pika, and then I'm actually going to do one for my bat next, like in the next couple of weeks. I am a conservation artist and I love learning about animals. So I decided that today should be about celebrating animals. So I wanted to feature all of them. 
and then let's see. And then this is my very first tutorial that I've ever done, which is It won't let me share the video. Let's see. There we go. Can you see it now? Good. Okay, great. contribution. If you draw it, please tag me. I love seeing them. I love seeing people's work. It makes me really excited. I really want to make people excited about drawing and learning and drawing about animals. So always tag me if you want me to see. I'll always be happy to see it. Thank can you, you put in the chat where we can find the, your, uh, your things? Sorry, I didn't have it set for everyone to chat. I had to fix that for a second. <laughs> okay, so uh, next we have Melinda uh, to share some children's artwork. And on deck is Paul. Um, so I'm Adelaide and I made a little pipe girl. American pipe girl. This is my pika and it has a little butterfly. And it has a hay pile and it has a little bed made out of leaves and it lives in a cave. Thank you. Thank you so much, it was beautiful. Um, so next we have Paul sharing Ivy's work. And then on deck we have Float Goat. All right, let's see if we can get that shared. So yeah, so this is, uh, this is uh, the artwork of my daughter Ivy. She's 17 and no, no, she's, she's eight, she's eight. Um, and she said that she wanted to do something at Pika because, um, well, Dad, you work on them because I also work for Rocky Mountain Wild. Plus, they're adorable. And so this was her, her creation. She, she's done some other artwork for us, but this is her first freehand drawing. So she was very proud of that. Wonderful. Thank you. Um, next, we have Flo Goat. Flo Goat is going to be playing a new song for us called Easy. And I'm going to try and see if we have anyone that we skipped earlier that we can come back to. Um, but first, let's enjoy the song by Flo Goat. Hey, what's up, everybody? <laughs> Thanks for having me, Chris. I really appreciate it. Um, so, yeah, this song is uh, a little bit, you know, off topic, but um it's about the environment so i guess it's sort of on topic as well yeah let's just get into it Thank you. 
Living in a dream state, but my eyes are wide awake. Premonitions through my mind as if I'm reminiscing. Fear in the end, forget about beginning. Uh, like I'm living in a dream state. Everybody, everything seems so fake. I bet that y'all can relate. When is the world gonna wake up masks? Like everybody wearing makeup tasks. Like everybody living life off track. Do we really throw these dices? Should we knock them down and pin them up and hold them up with vices? Should we hold ourselves accountable? Study up and meditate, believe it is surmountable. I believe in you. If we all could work together, there ain't nothing we can't do, and that's the truth. again thank you so much for joining us and sharing that with us um so it looks like everyone else who is on the list hasn't made it to the parade yet um is there anyone else who wants to share anything seeing head nods and no one in the chat so it looks like we might end a little early but I wanted to thank everyone for sharing your creations with us. Um, there seems to be a lot of love for pica, which makes me happy being a little pica today. <laughs> and, you know, I just, yes, I love, I love your little pica and the talus with the little hay pile. Thank you. Um, thank you everyone for sharing. Thank you for attending, if you, even if you didn't share and celebrating Endangered Species Day with us. Uh, don't forget to go over to Endangered Species Coalition and check out that Monarch page um, project. I'm gonna put this link here 
So the page that I just put in the chat, that's our Facebook event page. And uh, we'll link to Endangered Species Coalition's project there. And uh, you can also check out all of our artist tutorials. Um, so in, in case you didn't see it ahead of time, uh, we, had, we asked some artists to make some tutorials to help people um, make their creations today. And if you haven't seen them, you can check them out there. And uh, don't forget that tomorrow is Colorado Public Lands Day. So there's some more activities going on tomorrow. And um, is there anything else anyone wants to say? Okay. Well, thank you so much for joining us and have a great rest of your day. Bye.